Thank you. Roll call vote on item number 1A. Birding? Yes. Boards? Abstain. No. I'm just kidding, Robert. Yes, of course you yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yes. I will say that um, Mr. Morrow um, did bring up the elephant in the room, and I'm just going to be honest. I know um, some members of council may not want to discuss it or talk about it, but it has been the elephant in the room. And considering the fact that as a chair of this um, committee, uh, a lot of people have contacted me um, in regards to the solicitor's opinion, and, and, and I think we do need to get that clarified because um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think about it, and then a couple people brought it to my point, and I was a little confused. Um, I was made to excuse myself from um, not voting on a volunteer board of stop aids, and then I had to leave the room um, when an issue that does not just affect me, does not just affect my street, does not just affect um, my neighborhood, it affects many neighborhoods that are congruent, which is why you had the Rose Lawn, Bond Hill, and Avondale all involved. So I will ask in terms of a solicitor, since it has uh, been brought up um, and brought up in terms of casting a cloud over this issue, I I'm curious of making sure that we do not, as we go forward, we are not jeopardizing ourselves and moving forward having um, two separate opinions. How, how do we get to this point? How is, uh, if you can help us to make sure that as we go forward that we are not jeopardizing. And, and I, I want is that the proposed streetcar route that's sitting in front of you? Does anyone, that's the proposed streetcar route, right? I, I'm behind it. I, uh, does anyone know? Someone brought it up, so the administration. That's the proposed route that's here in the room, right? The proposed streetcar route. Someone has to be able to answer the question. Everyone's looking at everyone like they don't know what I'm asking. I don't believe that was put up at our request. It's the proposed streetcar route, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. So if someone can answer the question, and I know it was brought up by a couple of the speakers regarding the proposed streetcar route. So I'm curious, as we move forward, making sure, um, as Mr. Meyer said, in terms of casting the legal cloud over this issue, how do we proceed? What is your recommendation? Madam Chair, the, uh, the question of um, uh, voting on this issue, uh, the Ohio Ethics Opinions and Laws applies to individuals and not to uh, the city or the, county or the council as a whole. So therefore, it's up to each individual to um, uh, determine the appropriate conduct in each measure. Um, every vote, every issue is fact-specific. Fact um, the Ohio Ethics Commission and my office deal um, on uh, the issues as they're brought up um, based on a specific set of facts that applies to each individual council member. Um, and those, frankly, the, those opinions are generally confidential um, in context of the attorney-client privilege unless they're all um, the details and the advice given are expressly waived by the individual council members. Thank you. So it's not, the council has no responsibility. I just want to make sure as people keep, con that's not our council's responsibility, it's the individual members of the council. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Roll call vote on item number 1A. Birding? Yes. Boards? Abstain. No. I'm just kidding, Robert. Yes, of course you <laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs>